What is up guys? I have been meaning to do this video for a long time. I bought a bunch of Criterions in the Barnes & Noble July sale and I'm not sh exactly sure why a lot of good titles came out and I just kept ordering them, you know. Um, I probably bought more Criterions on the sale than actual Criterions that I have. So, And I had a hard time finding a lot of them like War of the Worlds and Portrait of a Lady on Fire it took a while to, to actually get during the July sale. Uh, the first day was impossible to get a bunch of titles for some reason. It was just, I think it had to do with the pandemic. Just people were buying up these, these Criterions for some reason. First up, a special day. I can't believe I found a copy of this movie. I, a couple months ago, was watching television on AMC and this came on. It started with a bunch of stock footage of Adolf Hitler visiting Rome with Benito Mussolini during World War II and this movie blew me away. I could not believe how great this movie was. It was such an amazing film and it is definitely up there in you know maybe moved into my top 10 favorite films of all time and I, I hadn't I knew nothing about it I just happened to watch it and this film has Sophia Loren in it and then uh, an actor that I don't know Marcello Mastriani and it is basically a day in these two people's lives during this um, meeting between Hitler and Mussolini and it is an amazing film it's kind of what I expected with Dinner from Andre, which I was very disappointed in um, as a criterion I bought. I thought it would be like a fascinating film with two people talking during dinner, and it turned out to be kind of... It, it didn't go in, into any depth. It wasn't very in-depth, and, and this goes in-depth. There's so many surprises, and the characters, these two characters, and, and their relationship throughout the day are just fascinating and amazing. So awesome, awesome film. And um, I'm definitely going to watch this soon. It also, on AMC, it didn't look right. It wasn't a good transfer. So I hope this transfer is awesome. And I'll definitely read the booklet. And uh, Criterion's my favorite, you know, out of all the companies that Arrow Video, um, Paramount, whatever. Criterion I think is the best even though most of them are art house films and and films I may not be too much interested in they're definitely the best with the booklets and the packaging and and the artwork I think so special day if you have not seen this film I highly recommend it it's probably my favorite criterion now without even watching it line by I have not seen this film I've seen pieces of it of course War of the Worlds and this was hard to get. I It took me a while. I mean, it took me a week or two during that July sale when it finally came back into stock. I can't remember if I bought it online or if I picked it up curbside at Barnes & Noble. But it, it was hard to get for some reason. Um, and this one was like a new release too. So I'm hoping that means that it's a, it's a really good film. And I always put this sticker on, sorry. Right there. Awesome artwork on the front. Right there in the back, a lot of special features from the 50s. You know, Independence Day is one of my favorite action films, and this was very, very influential of Independence Day from 1996 with Will Smith. I hope it's better than The Blob. I was somewhat disappointed in The Blob. I was expecting The Blob to be kind of less serious, but it was just uh, really a, a film about aliens coming to Earth in a small town. Um, with no real comedy behind it, so it was a little disappointing for me, but hopefully I'll like this one better. Next up, Portrait of a Lady on Fire. This was probably the hardest one to find, from what I remember. I know it's been a while, but I also wanted to see this film when it was out in theaters, and it was out, and then the pandemic hit, and all the theaters closed, and I couldn't go see it. It was playing at... Uh, Theater that is still open in Albuquerque that shows a lot of art house and and not mainstream type of films or, or big summer blockbusters, even though they do get them sometimes. They got Star Wars, which was nice. I could walk right into that theater opening weekend and it would be completely empty and I could watch Star Wars if I if I needed to. So this looked like an amazing film and it got great reviews and um, a lot of people thought it was their favorite film of 2019 I believe. I mean it came out in 2020 but people really liked it that's all I know so 
I'll definitely check it out. Portrait of a Lady on Fire. I've been meaning to get this. I already have it on Blu-ray. I thought I would upgrade to Criterion. Matthew Broderick, Reese Witherspoon. Movie about high school that came out in the 90s. So this is the only movie, one of the only movies I have bought because of the special features. The Blu-ray I have only has the 1999 audio commentary and this one has a bunch of a bunch of extra features which I'm definitely going to look at. So awesome film. I've seen it numerous times and the Reese Witherspoon character just reminded me of the student body president <laughs> that was in my high school and pretty uncanny. So Repo Man. This one I've been meaning to get in a bunch of the sales that I never never did so I decided to get it and it's a uh, great packaging. Looks like it's a booklet type of packaging, which is awesome. And I saw this film when I was a kid with Emilio Estevez, right? If I think it's the same film that I saw. And I didn't realize that this was set in the future at the time. And it's probably obvious now when I watch it again, hopefully. So it's kind of like a digi book. How do you open this thing? Oh. Awesome. I don't know if it's the same film. We'll have to see. And the film I remember is uh, Emilio Estevez is just basically taking cars from people who haven't paid off their, you know, car payments and gets into trouble and stuff. But I don't know if it's the same film now, now that I'm looking at the artwork. So, awesome booklet here. Love Criterion. Up next, Harold and Maude. This is a blind buy, but I've, of course, heard a lot about this movie. Um, Cat Stevens songs um, directed by Hale Ashby and I love movies about unusual relationships like A Special Day hopefully it's as good as A Special Day and this one is about a kinda older, older lady and a teenager with with a lot of issues going on and uh, they kinda form a friendship which is awesome definitely wanna check this out awesome artwork right there I don't know I think this is a movie from the 60s I'm not sure and uh, there's the booklet in every Criterion I mean look at that it's just awesome Criterion is just great Bamboozled a Spike Lee film I have not seen and in 2020 with that cover it has to be provocative right it has Damon Wayans in it Jada Pinkett Smith Michael Rappaport who was in Higher learning. So awesome cast. Tommy Davidson. A lot of familiar names in this. Goes back to kind of the, I would say, the early part of the 20th century. You know, the way the uh, racial stereotypes. I'm not sure what that's about in the film, but I'll definitely check it out. Um, you know, Spike Lee, very controversial. There's some films I... Rip the, rip the sticker again. No sticker for this one. Malcolm X is a great film. I still haven't seen The Five Bloods on Netflix, and I want to see that because Chadwick Boseman plays a part in it, and it's also a Spike Lee film. But yeah, that, man. Yeah, a lot of imagery from a certain era in Hollywood and, and in popular culture, for sure. So, might be... Uh, okay. I mean, there's the, there's the inside artwork, you know. We'll see about this one. It does. I've never heard of it, which is which is crazy. You know, a Spike Lee film I never heard of. Do the right thing. Great film about racial tensions between African Americans and Italians in New York City. And you know, I don't agree with everything Spike Lee portrays in his films or says, but you know, I gotta appreciate the art for sure. So I'll definitely check this out. Tulane Blacktop. I usually don't like films about cars. You know. Um, it's not my thing. I don't like to go out cruising and, and racing and stuff like that. And I never did, even when I was younger. It just wasn't my thing. Um, but I understand uh, people's obsessions with uh, muscle cars and, and racing and stuff like that. And it's supposed to be a good film. And I did see pieces of this when I was a teenager. Looks like it's from the 70s. You know, and good thing about Criterion, if you don't like the film, you watch it once, you don't think you'll watch it again. Nice, awesome, thick booklet there. Some inside artwork. You know, you could just sell it and, and get most, if not 
sometimes for some reason uh, people bid more during the non-sale months you know on eBay and you could basically get your money back so Prince of Tides saw this when I was a kid I would say not even when I was a teenager this came out in the 80s I think the late 80s has a lot of special features on it 1991 I'm wrong okay early 90s um, either way I was young and um, I remember thinking it was boring so that might mean that it's a good film that I couldn't pay attention to when I was a teenager and I remember certain parts of it which which means that there were you know good parts in the film since it's a criterion I definitely want to check it out and from what I remember Nick Nolte has a lot of issues going on and Barbara Streisand is his psychologist psychiatrist obviously it goes further it's kind of about Nick Nolte's mindset and how he gets through things throughout the film um, through through what he had to deal with as a child from what I, I remember so looks like a good film actually all right kind of a small booklet there for Criterion it has the Twilight Time vibe there and a bunch of pictures I don't know if these are on the set or from the film looks like both maybe all right guys that is it for this criterion blu-ray haul i hope you have a good new release tuesday stay safe out there if you're going out blu-ray hunting for new blu-rays and i'll see you on the next one